Right, I've won that threat here. Thought I'd do a video on tactical crossbow setups and um, similar kind of uh, situations where you could mod your crossbow a bit for a, you know better situations, you know, rather than just the standard crossbow on its own. So, like I said, this is for sort of shit hit the fan, no law situations, you know, but you know, you can have it for an everyday situation, but um, obviously you're not going to be able to use it for it, but you can have it set up for it. So, what I've basically done is added a couple of features to this to make it a bit more tactical, I suppose you could call it, you know, a bit more convenient. Because there's features missing for certain things. So, I'll go over the crossbow first. So, the crossbow is just a Jaguar Armex crossbow. £150 prod on it. It's a standard crossbow. You can get it from Blades and Bows for about 100 quid, And that gets you the crossbow, six bolts, the quiver, and the sling. You don't need to buy those. You can get a cheaper version. I don't know if they still do it, but they used to do a cheaper version without any of those things. You could buy those extra. So you could buy a sling from a cheaper place if you wanted to, or a different sling. So you get the sling, meaning you can carry the crossbow. The quiver means you can have bolts with the crossbow, which I think that's a good thing. This removes, you just there's just a um, little clip here can't quite see it here, there's a little clip just there, just turn that to the side, like that, and then that just turns off, so you don't need it on there, and then you just put it back on like that, but it's good to have on, because like I said, you can carry the bolts with you at all times, the sling is a good option, because that means you can carry the crossbow on your back, those are all standard things. Another thing that you can get is different strength prods. You can go from like a £175 prod, this is actually 150 So this is 150 this is 150 But you can also get, this one is a £105 prod. And you can go as low as £40. And £40 would still be a good shit hit the fan type um, power, it's still powerful enough. So there's your power options, your strings are cheap, so what else do you want? I would definitely recommend getting as many bolts as you can possibly get. I've not got that many, I'd recommend getting, well, absolutely as many as possible, you know. But you want at least the six for the quiver always have those six what I've done in my quiver I've got six bolts I've got four standard ones but I've modded the tips I've got a video showing you how to do that if you want to see it these tips penetrate better than the standard field tips and then also just as two two like backup ones I've got two with broadheads on. Well, some people think you're not allowed to own those. You can own them. It's just legally we're not allowed to use them. You're not allowed to hunt with them. But you're not allowed to hunt with a crossbow anyway. All you can use crossbows for is target practice. So it's always good to have the bolts on, I reckon. Because then if you grab the crossbow, you've got the bolts with it. You don't have to grab your quiver, but you want to get your quiver anyway. So then, I've kept the standard sights for mine, because I think it's easier to shoot with standard sights. You know, just open sights. It's the quickest way you can. Most sort of shit hit the fan sort of situations, you're probably going to be close enough that you could hit something easily with open sights anyway. And then... The things I've added are this pouch, which is a pouch, um, rifle stock pouch at the back here. 
Now this isn't, you don't need to put this on here for shit hit the fan, but I've done this with two different things, shit hit the fan and survival. So, or long term shit hit the fan I suppose. So what I've put in here are all of the tools and stuff for the crossbow. So I'll take this stuff out and then I'll just put it to the side so I don't have to put it back in. But I've got a cocking aid here. This is the right, two things out at the minute. Right, I'll show you this one first. This here, if I can get it going, wrapped up with each other. This here is called a bastard string or a stringer and it is to aid you in putting the new string on if it breaks. So I've put that in there, that would be helpful just in case. You, know, you may be slightly injured or not at full strength, it, you want things to make things easier possibly. And these don't really add a lot of weight, this is a, this is the cocking aid. So if you had a bad arm, you can use one arm, you could cock the crossbow with that. I've then got the rail lube and wax, string wax. I've got a interchangeable flathead and Phillips screwdriver there. You can get a smaller one, I just use that because I like the size of it. All of the Allen keys for the various parts, so you can remove the prod if you need to. You can adjust things, stuff like that. Spare string there in a bag to stop it getting damaged. A couple more Allen keys and put in more than I thought. So yeah, and oh, and, a, and just a little shim for something I'll explain in a minute. So that's that's what I've got in that pouch at the minute. But you could fit more. Now this is fully adjustable, this pouch. It will fit any crossbow stock. Slightly padded on this side, on the back side, that's against your sort of cheek. So it's, um, that adds an extra element. Something else I did, this wouldn't be standard, is if you remove the foregrip, just got two screws. This is part of why I've got a screwdriver in it. In here are little compartments, about eight of them, I think, about that big. Uh, you know, maybe like 15 mil by three mil, say. No, 15 mil by 30 mil. Anyway, so and then what I put in there is some spare rubber flights, some spare tips, some spare knock ends, and a couple of other little things. And they're just and then just screw that back on. So it's just there just in case you ever need spare ends or anything. And they I just put packed it with cotton wool. I'll show you all this at the end in some pictures and explain it. But it's just something extra that you've got that if you need it it's there. So and lastly, the only other thing I felt this needed was a flashlight. So, I've added a flashlight just here. Right, this is going to be left handed so it will look a bit weird. But, um, you'd have your hand on the stock here and all you need to do is press with your thumb to turn that torch on. And it's completely solidly on there just there out the way just here you can add one with a strobe if you wanted to and um yeah you literally just turn it on your thumb while you're holding the, the forehand and all that is held on with it's really secure i did need to add a couple of shims though just to make sure it's really really secure is a telescopic sight mount and a a weaver rail barrel mount. Now you can get these from Gearbest or eBay or loads of different places. I got mine from Amazon, I think. But I can give you some links 
to on Gearburst they sell this whole combination. I bought those two bits separately, but they actually uh, Gearburst actually sell the whole thing in one already. They're two parts, but they come together. And Gearburst do this pouch as well. We can get that anywhere. But um, yeah. So that is really solid. That torch. It doesn't move at all. And I think it's in the perfect place. It's just past the prod. So nothing's really getting in the way apart from the uh, foot stirrup. But that's thin enough to not really notice. You also don't get any glare back really. Because I did have the torch back further. But you get glare from the, the prod. So as for sort of weight... This adds a little bit of weight, all of this, but I don't think it's enough to that it really makes a difference. You know, you if you felt it was heavy at the front, you could always take the quiver off or have less in the stock. But you know, I don't really think it makes a lot of difference to me. So yeah, what I'll do now, I'll um well. After, when the video finishes, at the end, or when this part of the video finishes anyway, there'll be a bit of footage with showing you pictures of this, this, and anything else you can get. And also I'll show you some footage of the torch at night. Right, so this is the torch indoors. So you can just see how you would press the button on it. Next is some footage of me walking outside with the torch on, so you can see the sort of quality of how this would work, you know. This is how it's mounted, it's just past the bit where the fore, fore end is and it starts to go in more. You can see what I mean, and this is the other angle. And just to make sure it fitted perfectly, I had a couple of aluminium shims in there. This is the barrel mount I used. And these are about £1.99 for both of them. And then this is just the inside of the foregrip. So you can see what's in there. There's some tips, some spare flights, some knock ends, and stuff like that. It's just stuff you can pack in just for extras. Right, so that was the footage. You can, you know, you can see. Uh works proper good you know don't it and um yeah i think that's a good way to set up a crossbow for shit hit the fan long term shit hit the fan survival situation pouch for your accessories quiver bolt and spares here for making your own bolts and then the torch and also in this pouch you could definitely easily fit a red dot sight or a small telescopic sight even would fit in there easily. Still a lot of room in there. You don't need all of the things I've got in there, it's up to you. Yeah, I think that's a good option. Right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you know, I hope this comes in handy for you. And if you ever felt like supporting this channel, you can now. You can either support me through Patreon if you wanted to. Or, if you had bought any of these things that I've shown you through Gearbest or Amazon, especially Gearbest, so if you go to Gearbest through my links and buy something, I get a percentage of what you spend, and you don't actually have to do anything other than buy stuff you want anyway, you know, and then you support the channel that way. So, yeah, alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any links and that will be in the more info section below. See you later.